colorful morning to everyone my name is Maina pursuing BSc data science at Jagadgiruta college now I am going to explain you that what is an allopital rule what does mean allopital a allopital rule is a method that helps to evaluate indeterminate forms such as 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity in order to evaluate the limits of indeterminate forms for the derivatives in calculus we use allopital this rule can be applied more than once as well if we apply this rule once it still holds an indefinite form every time after its applications but if the problem is that out of the indeterminate forms then allopital rule cannot be applied here we are seeing that allopital rule formula what is an allopital rule formula if f of x by g of x is in the form of 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity then x is equals to a then the limit x tends to a f of x by g of x is equals to limit x tends to a f dash of x by g of x basically we just have to take the derivative of the numerator as well as of the denominator and compute the limit here we decide um, here we are seeing that allopital rule if we desire to draw advantage of this rule we can also have to check the limit is in the right form and that is done in the following ways to apply this rule we have to make sure that the fraction must be of two functions that is f of x by g of x it is very crucial to see that when you plug in the x value the function must evaluate to either 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity as with these two types of indeterminate forms we won't be able to use this method directly if the limits problem is not is an indeterminate form here the examples of allopital rule here we are seeing that problems with solutions in the problem one we are seeing that limit x tends to 0 sin f of x sin sin of 4x by solutions in the problem one we are seeing that limit x tends to 0 sin f of x sin sin of 4x by 7x minus 2x square here we are seeing that now by in that x is equals to 0 we will find the indeterminate form of 0 by 0 and thus by applying the allopital can used by taking the derivative of the top and the bottom then we can find the value of the x here we are seeing that limit x tends to 0 sin 4 4x by 7x minus 2x square is equals to limit x tends to 0 sin 4x uh, we can written, written as in the form of 4 cos 4x by 7 minus 4x is equals to 4 cos here x as here we are seeing in that in the problem we are seeing that x, x is considered as 0 right here 4x is equals to 4 of 0 7 by 4 of 0 it is uh, um, by considering as 0 we get the 4 by 7 answer here we are seeing that the second example in the second example limit x tends to infinity 3x square minus 2x plus 1 by 5x square plus 17 this time the indeterminate form is infinity by infinity there is one interesting thing about this example that is even after using it once the limit still have to same the indeterminate form and therefore we can use it once more limit x tends to infinity 3x square minus 2x plus 1 by 5x square plus 17 is equals to limit x tends to infinity 6x minus 2 by 10x is equals to limit x tends to infinity 6 by 10 here by cancelling with the 2 2 3 is a 6 and 2 5 is a 10 right we are then we can get that 3 by 4 3 by 5 basically we can use the allopital rule as many times as possible within the only condition that there has no to be an indeterminate form to each and every stage the allopital rule is nothing that um, the for the in the question it should be in the form of f of x by g of x it is in the form of 0 by 0 or 
infinity by infinity. This it it is known as allopital rule. Thank you for giving this opportunity.